In this three-minute teaching with Tech Tip, we're checking out Socrative, so head on over to Socrative.com and click on Teacher Login to get started. You can create a new account very quickly and sign in very quickly using an existing Google account, or you can click on Get a Free Account to create a new account associated with an email address of your choosing. Once you're signed in, please notice the room number at the top. This is the identifier that your students will need to use to connect with your room in Socrative. So typically in Socrative, you're going to either create a quick question because you want to get results from a particular question you're asking. This can be very helpful while giving a particular lesson and trying to take the class's pulse on how they're doing with the materials, or you can create a more extensive quiz that the students can take. Now they've made the quick question feature really simple and easy to use because you don't actually define the question here. You define the question any way you want to the class, ask it out loud, write it on a board, whatever you want, and the only thing is you've got to have it structured around either being a multiple choice question with up to five choices, a true, false, or a short answer. So let's give an example of how this might work. Suppose you're covering some material in class and you want to get a sense of how the students are feeling about the material. Perhaps you can write up on the board, you know, how do you feel about um, what you've just learned in the last half hour, whatever the case is. Uh, a, totally get it. B, a little confused. C, pretty confused. Or D, totally lost. And then the students would go into Socrative, and I'll show you in a second what that looks like, and they would make a selection, and you would see here the selections they were making as they made them. Now, for a student to use Socrative, they would go to Socrative.com on a computer or download the Socrative app on a smartphone or tablet, and they would click Student Login, and then they would have to put in your room number that you provide them. They put that in and join the room, and if you have an activity that's going, they're going to see the options there to submit an answer. So if you've written up on the board or somehow in another other way, inform them of what you want them to be able to select, uh, what the A, B, and C choices are, then they make a choice and submit it, and that's it. Then back here in Socrative, you see that they've answered, and it's really that simple. The true-false quick question works the same basic way, and then the short answer uh, quick question is a little more sophisticated, where you can actually put the language of a question and also ask that a student provide some kind of a name if you wish. Another real strength of Socrative is the full-blown quiz. So if you go to Manage Quizzes, I'm going to go into Edit Mode. If I hit Create Quiz, I'd get a similar um, menu, and I'm going to go into one that I started and go into Edit Mode on it, and you'll see that I can create multiple choice questions, true and false questions, short answer questions, just like we saw in the, um, the Quick Question feature, but here you really define the questions and indicate what are the, co the correct answers, and you can even provide an explanation that will pop up afterwards for the students. So uh, a pretty rich quiz function that you can run on the fly in your class and students can use their um, phones or devices or your computer or a computer in the classroom to answer the questions. So that's a quick intro to Socrative, an easy, free, excellent, easy to access student response system that doesn't require proprietary clickers. Give it a shot today and sorry I went about three and a half minutes on this one.